Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we've never met before, my name is Chelsea. Today's video is going to be my recent skincare empties. About a month has elapsed since my last skincare empty. So I have a few things here I wanted to share. Mostly new items and a couple repeats. So I always like to start these videos by saying my skin type because I know it's very important when you're shopping for products, looking for products to try. You wanna figure out if they might match your needs. So I have oily combination sensitive and eczema prone skin. It's a lot, but I've learned to live with it. So these are my favorite types of videos to watch because you really truly get to the essence of whether the person liked the product or not and whether it's worthy of a repurchase or not. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on the products I've recently used up, go ahead and keep watching. First up, we have Pixi Glow Tonic. This is no stranger to my channel. I love this product so, so much. I think you can only find the 500 mil on their website and I love the pump top packaging. This is a glycolic acid toner. It is gentle enough to use for every day, but if you've never used it before, I suggest using it once every couple of days and assessing your skin to see how you can go from there. But I just love this for resurfacing, adding that glow. You can use it morning and night. I love this stuff so much. And lately I've been using it a lot for my back knee. I have had crazy back knee. It's disgusting. I think it's very stress induced. So I don't know how to lessen my stress while we're going through a global pandemic. But if you figure that out, let me know. I used it this morning. I used it last night. Can't get enough of this stuff. I always have this on hand. Next up was a product that really surprised me. I had zero expectations for this product, but I actually really enjoyed it. This is the Moisture Prep Essence by L'Occitane. And I love a lot of the L'Occitane face oils and face creams. They are super luxurious and they smell amazing. They are truly spa quality skincare. And of course I love their body care too. This was interesting. It was truly like a water gel consistency. I would squirt a little bit of this in the palms of my hands and just kind of slap it all over my skin to add an extra moisture. This would come after my toner, but before my serum. It just added a lot of extra hydration. It might seem like an insignificant step, but I feel like it really works. I actually really enjoyed this. So well done, L'Occitane. Speaking of serums, this is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice Antioxidant Face Serum. This is a half fluid ounce size. So I actually ran through this faster than expected. But here's the thing, I thought it was fine. I didn't notice a huge difference in you know my skin before or after, so I don't think this does a whole lot. Plus, with the size only being half an ounce, it's not that I didn't like it, I just didn't love it. So I feel like this just didn't make a huge difference in my skincare routine. There are other serums I'd recommend over this one, most recently being that Paula's Choice Peptide Booster. If you're looking for something with a little more results, probably skip over this one. This serum is by Skin Inc. And I know this is a brand they have at Nordstrom and Sephora. This is their daily dose serum. Now I got this in a gift bag, so I had no instructions on how to use this. I didn't have any pamphlet or box. This came in, it just came like this. And I actually DM the brand on Instagram to see if they could tell me exactly which formula this was, because I know they make custom serum formulas. That's their whole thing. Like Skin Ink, it's like a supplement bar. You can like build your own custom serum based on what your skin needs are. I thought this was amazing. So I really want to know what the formula was so I can potentially purchase it in the future and of course recommend it to you guys. It was a clear serum formula that was super nourishing and hydrating. It had these like little white encapsulated beads in it that would just kind of melt away into your skin. It kind of felt like a hyaluronic acid serum, peptide serum. It actually closely rivaled that Polish Choice serum that I was just mentioning. So definitely would check this out, put it on your radar, check them out because I feel like this is like an underrated brand. I don't hear a lot about this brand, but the serum was really good. I used up an eye cream. This is the Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream by Drunk Elephant. Love the packaging twists up like that. Now the packaging did get a little build up around the dispenser. And of course the flaw with the packaging is like, you don't know how much you have left until you're out. This is supposed to firm and brighten. It's a half ounce size. I'm hesitant to recommend this knowing that Drunk Elephant is so expensive. It was fine. Didn't give me any negative reaction, but at the same time, didn't really knock my socks off. And I should mention that I was only using this at night because I feel like when I use this in the morning, kind of peeled away under makeup. So wouldn't really recommend this for daytime use if you wear makeup. And if you do wear makeup, just be careful with what products you layer on top of this. I mean, it was fine. Just not something I recommend that you run out and go buy. Well, you can't really run out and go buy anything right now, but you know what I mean. Next up is a treatment. This is the Differin Gel Adapalene 0.1%. Different Gel is a prescription strength retinoid that you can actually get over the counter now. Previously in the past, this was a prescription only product that you could get prescribed by your dermatologist. This actually expired last year, August of 
2019 so I'm gonna be tossing this but I love this this is a great product if you suffer from sebaceous filaments acne also for just keeping your skin clear even balanced I like having this on hand for the times that my skin is struggling I know I can like incorporate this into my routine and within a few weeks my skin is clear again when you use this product it is very strong so you need to follow the directions and stick to it you're gonna need to use this consistently and you don't use this as a spot treatment you actually use this as an all-over treatment before your moisturizer use your sunscreen during the day use that night and uh, use it consistently just keep in mind when you use something like different gel you probably want to dial back your AHAs and acids that you also have in your routine so you know, kind of pick one or the other because you don't want to overstimulate and oversensitize your skin. Next up is a cleansing oil. This is by One Love Organics. This is the Botanical Bee Enzyme Cleansing Oil. Now, somebody said in one of my last videos that I don't hold the products up long enough, and I think that was a byproduct of, well, two things. One, I talk with my hands a lot, and two, I just recovered from surgery, so in the beginning of my recovery, it was really hard for me to lift my arms a lot, so I'd show the products up and put them down. It's not because I'm lazy, it's just because I was fatigued. So here is the bottle. This is a sample size I got in a gift bag. So the full size comes with a pump, so it makes it a lot more easy for everyday use. And they use like pineapple enzymes in it. It smells incredible. If you love tropical scents, like a true pineapple tropical scent, you will love this. And it gets off your eye makeup, it gets off those heavy foundations and powders and creams. It washes away, it rinses away, and it smells incredible. 100% would be interested in picking up the full size of this. It's a little pricey, but you can find it at Credo Beauty, which is like the Sephora for clean beauty. I think I got this in my gift bag at the Credo Beauty Summit. I'm gonna link that vlog up above in a card. Yeah, it's got papaya, pumpkin, it does have beeswax in it, so it's not vegan, but it is cruelty-free. I've mentioned this in another skincare empties video, so this is probably the second or third time I've mentioned it on my channel. Last up is another clean beauty product, something also available at Credo. Additionally, it's now available at Sephora. This is the Alpine Beauty Plant Genius Melt Moisturizer. But this is actually something that I absolutely used up to the very last drop. This is a true favorite. I actually did a blog post this week all about my favorite moisturizers to recommend for daytime for all skin types, and this actually made the list. Everything else in the list I've been using for years, this is the newcomer and it's totally made the cut. I'll tell you a few reasons why this makes the cut. This product is vegan and cruelty free. There are no silicones in this product and it's a very non-irritating formula. It truly has a velvety texture on the skin. That's the best way I can describe it. A little bit goes a long way and it's very rich and it just absorbs beautifully into the skin. It truly leaves behind a velvety texture. So if I put this on in the morning and I go look at myself in the mirror, my skin looks velvety matte. It's not a flat matte, it's not dry. It's just that beautiful velvety matte. I love it. This also contains Bakuchiol, which is like that new trendy ingredient in a lot of skincare right now. It's nature's form of retinol. If your skin is extremely sensitive and you want to steer clear of the hardcore retinols, try something like this because it has a more mild version of it. I don't know, I just feel like my skin looks so healthy when I use this, and again, I used up to the very last drop. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce size. Absolutely love this and would definitely recommend. All right, friends, so that is a wrap for today's skincare empties. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the products mentioned, they will all be linked down in the description box below. And of course, if you have any video requests or questions, leave it in a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below, and I'll see you very soon on the next one.